Herpes Cure 2016 or Millions Broken Dreams The year of 2015 is coming to its end, and herpes cure has not been discovered yet, no breakthrough has been made, and current researches are facing a dead end. World Health Organization has finally acknowledged, that herpes affects two-thirds of people under 50, and it made people realize, how big of a problem it actually is. So what will happen next? What should we expect from the year 2016? And when we can expect scientists to finally develop herpes cure? Here is a fun fact, the development of a first herpes simplex vaccine has begun around 1920. Of course, that study, and many others that followed it, was not successful. It is important to understand, that herpes industry makes more than $6 billion per year, and the number of people getting infected is increasing dramatically each year. What if there is still no herpes cure in 2016, 2017, or even 2066? What then? If we don't do something right now, then in a few generations every single person might be affected by herpes. And it will consider to be normal. Some people just don't understand, that herpes comes with a certain responsibility. There is nothing shameful about having herpes. It can happen to anyone, for example, through a symptomatic shedding. But if that happened to a person, then he or she should take responsibility and learn how to live with herpes without causing trouble to people around them. Here is an interesting story. Just a few days ago I had a lunch with my old friend and at some point we started talking about herpes. She said, that she got HSV1 from her ex-boyfriend, but to her it wasn't a big deal. Once in a while herpes caused her some discomfort, but most of the time she felt fine. We quickly changed the subject and talked about other things for hours. When we finally left the restaurant, she leaned to give me a kiss goodbye on a cheek. I was shocked. Didn't she know that she could easily pass HSV-1 to me? But I couldn't just tell her that, because I didn't want her to feel embarrassed. In my opinion, if a person has herpes, then he or she needs to do everything they can not to pass the virus to someone else. When people get infected with herpes they are not aware that it can get passed through asymptomatic shedding, or that there is no herpes cure, or how much discomfort it may cause. The future is in our hands. We are responsible for our own future. I still think, that herpes cure won't be developed in 2016, same way it wasn't developed in 2014 and 2015. We can take action and improve the quality of our lives so that we won't have painful outbreaks. We can be more responsible when it comes to having intercourse with a new partner. We can decide to be responsible and not kiss infants or adults and not pass herpes virus to them. Be responsible.